TSB. They have uh, significant tools. They are well on their way uh, to gathering evidence. Calmer winds have been helping 8,000 firefighters in Southern California battle the Thomas Fire, which has charred 272,000 acres. The huge blaze is 50% contained. The recount of a local Virginia race proves every vote does count. Officials in Newport News conducting a recount in the House of Delegates race between Democratic candidate Shelley Simons and Republican delegate David Yancey indicate that Simons beat Yancey by a single vote. Yancey had won the 94th district by just 10 votes back in November, triggering the recount. If Simon's victory by that one vote is certified, it would erase the Republicans' control in the state house from 51 to 49 to an even 50-50 split. The parties would have to reach a power-sharing agreement in order to prevent legislative chaos in Richmond. John Stolness, Washington. On Wall Street, the Dow fell 37 points, the Nasdaq down 31. I'm Ann Cates. What's the perfect gift this holiday season? What everyone wants but rarely gets, a great night's sleep on a set of Bowl & Branch sheets. Hi, I'm Scott Tannen, founder of Bowl & Branch. We make the world's softest and most comfortable sheets. By cutting out the middleman and selling directly to you at bowlandbranch.com, our sheets cost less than half of designer brands and are twice the quality. There's a reason our sheets have tons of five-star reviews. Hundreds of thousands of Americans, including three U.S. presidents, are sleeping better than ever on Bowling Branch. We know you will, too. That's why we let you sleep on them risk-free for a month. They arrive beautifully packaged in our signature gift box. Giving a thoughtful gift has never been easier. And right now, we'll give you $50 off your first set of sheets, plus free shipping when you use promo code SLEEP. That's $50 off, plus free shipping at bowlandbranch.com. Promo code SLEEP, bowlandbranch.com, spelled B-O-L. From the KFNX Weather Bug Weather Center for tonight, clear skies, low 47. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 70. Tomorrow night, continue clear as we drop down to 44. Sunny and breezy on Thursday with gusty winds at a high of 58. Clear skies Thursday night, overnight low 37. I'm Tim Livingston from the KFNX Weather Center. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 59 degrees. Next news in 30 minutes or when it breaks. Here on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. A great man once said, there is nothing to fear but fear itself. But with the means of human destruction multiplying, and now even our own children going on murderous rampages, there is more to fear than ever. What has gone wrong in today's world? Call 1-800-234-DAWN for the free booklet, Hope for a Fear-Filled World. There is no need to fear the future, because God has a plan. Call 1-800-234-DAWN for hope for a fear-filled world. Looking to make a memory this holiday season? Disney's Newsies at Phoenix Theater is the perfect experience for the entire family. Inspired by true events and packed with show-stopping dance and Tony award-winning music, this uplifting tale will make your heart soar. Don't miss the world-renowned dance-packed blockbuster musical, Disney's Newsies. Tickets start at just $29 on stage at Phoenix Theater through January 1st. Don't miss out on Disney's Newsies at Phoenix Theater through January 1st. Healthy Habit Health Foods offers you the finest quality, fresh, natural, organic, and whole foods, supplements, body care products, and health information in a fun, comfortable, and clean environment. Located in Phoenix on 7th Street, just north of Bethany Home, open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 602-252-6000. That's 602-252-6000. Or visit your doorway to total health 24 hours a day at HealthyHabitHealthFoods.com. HealthyHabitHealthFoods.com. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Welcome to the Reality Check. Ben Shannerman here with you for the next hour on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. So much news to talk about this week. We can talk about tax cuts. We'll probably get to that later. So we have Robert Mueller, of course, the hero of the left, 
They're ready to crack open the beers and say them all their time. They're waiting for the conviction. They're waiting for the impeachment. Um, but that's not going to happen. You see, the whole Mueller investigation, we know it's a fraud. We know it was started by fraud. It is fraud. They're trying to find fraud. And most of the people involved in it are fraud. So let them continue. They keep on with the fraudulent. Every week you get these Democrats. They're daring Trump to fire Mueller. That's what they want to say because then they could say, he stopped it. That's why we didn't find anything because they know they have egg on their face. We're talking about a year and a half now. We're at the year and a half point because this started before he was even elected with this whole scam. They, from Obama, who illegally tapped Trump Tower and Trump's phones, we know that's factual. The proof is there. Dates were trying to find some. Obama went overseas, went to UK, and wanted to get anything they had on Trump as well. So here he is, him, McCabe. They tried to physically stop. I shouldn't say physically, but they tried to stop. And it pretty much is physically Trump from becoming even the president. They've had all this time. And this is what they found. Nothing. If they found something, they tell you. They're not waiting and letting this go on. If they had something that was a bombshell that could come out, they'd leak it out because they've leaked everything out. Or they'd be charging him. But they have nothing. And it's going on $7 million later. And the, the money clock is still ticking. And you've heard Mueller, oh, we'll keep this open for another year until the next election. And then we'll jump on to something else. They tried with the fake sexual harassment again. <clears throat> you know, the Jessica Leeds chick, the one that uh, is friends with Hillary Clinton. Oh, by the way, they forgot to mention that. Or you could talk about um, good old Bloom, you know, just like her mother, the rotten apple and the rotten tree. They don't fall far from each other. You have Bloom, who was paying people $750,000 or more to say what a bad guy and sexually assaulted they were by Trump. Of course, you have accusers which, after they were supposedly attacked, invited Trump back. And then also you have hairdresser or makeup artist that wanted to do his makeup for the presidential campaign, even though she was attacked years ago. Whichever, you know, you could believe reality. You know, it's like that old uh, scene you see where this guy's uh, cheating on his wife. He's in the bedroom with another girl and the wife walks in and uh, she's like, you're cheating on me. And he's like, who are you going to believe, me or your eyes? You know, that's what it is. But if you don't believe, you know, they always talk about the impeccable, the awesome, the, the great honesty and character of Robert Mueller. Now, Robert Mueller's been in, involved in a bunch of shady stuff, much less if he had any credibility, he wouldn't even hire half the agents he did for this investigation. Obviously, he didn't care about not only the um, look of it, the feel of it, but no credibility, no honesty. He is involved with Hillary Clinton, you know, to the bone. I mean, with the Uranium One, with other scandals, she said. He's been involved in it, and if it isn't him directly, it's friends of his, like Comey and whatnot. The same old cast of characters, the guys with the fake investigations. But Mueller has very little credibility. You know, former FBI special agents accused Mueller of lying to Senate Select Committees on Intelligence regarding the scope of surveillance programs. Um, there's NSA and CIA whistleblowers that uh, accused Mueller of overseeing secretive programs where he not only surveilled Trump, while Trump was a private citizen, which is actually a case that's in court right now. So if you don't believe the validity of it, obviously there's some meat to it. It's in court. You know, another whistleblower claimed that uh, former FBI agents would testify with documentation that Mueller stifled their investigations into certain terrorist networks. Uh, you know, he's uh, been involved in stymieing other investigations from terrorists. He's also um, been involved with the Russia collusion, other Russia collusion, not the Trump quote unquote Russia collusion. But he's he's, um, you know, stopped investigations there. People that have worked with him in the a special surveillance group or the FBI, they always said that um, he didn't keep them safe. He was very dishonest. Um, a lot of his workers had concerns. You know, there, were even, there was even one guy who decided to quit his job, which high paying job in 2008. He quit the bureau just to get away from people like Robert Mueller because he saw firsthand the dishonesty 
um, since Mueller taken over the special counsel, you know, people have been concerned with his behavior. You know, and like I said, he has a history of this. He's bullied people from the U.S. Office of Personal Management when he was there in 2005 to 2008. Uh, you know, he's done the same thing. He was part of the botch 9-11 thing. You know, part of that was him. He was supposed to be in charge. This guy was, you know, in the FBI in charge when some of the biggest crimes against America happened. So he's not Mr. Clean. He's not Mr. Smart. He's not Mr. Anything, to be honest. You know, basically... He's a guy who's um, involved in scandals like the rest of these people. And you could say how impeccable he is. But, I mean, the bottom line is this, is Trump should just let him keep on going because he's just making a mockery out of everything here. You know, I mean, obviously, FBI probing uh, Senator Cuomo in New York's hiring practices. That ought to be an interesting investigation. We'll have to keep up on that because we know... We know about good old uh, Cuomo there, criminal, a criminal amongst criminals. You also have um, Mueller, Mueller's buddy, Eric Holder. You know, Eric Holder came out again and threatened uh, the GOP and basically American citizens in general who voted for Trump. He said any attempt to remove Mueller won't be tolerated. So what does Eric Holder plan on doing? Is he going to have riots in the streets? Is he going to have his little gangs like Antifa or Black Lives Matters come out in the streets and attack people? I mean, you know, what's, what's the deal with Eric Holder? He's the guy who was held in contempt of court. We should open up an investigation on him. You know how many crimes Eric Holder committed from before he was even in the government? His history is crime-laden. If he had to endure an investigation like they've had on Trump for all these years, with special taps, wiretaps, and phone conversations, this guy would be in jail six times over. Let me tell you. And one simple thing that we can easily investigate Mueller on, which would be the death, the death of Brian Terry. He's personally responsible for that. I mean, there's no two ways about it. He's the one who ran the uh, horrid program that was never before done. Nope, there were similar things, they say, but not even close to that. Sorry. When Bush ran the program, they actually had tracking devices on the guns, and they realized it didn't work. So then you're going to come years later, hey, let's run the same type of program but not put the tracking devices on the gun? So then how would we know where the guns were? Fast and Furious? No, it was more like criminal and killing. They didn't care where the guns went. They just wanted them to pop up somewhere in Mexico, and then they can tell the American people how bad the gun owners are, and let's take their gun rights away. Because look, if you see their hit piece stories is, what do you find the most in Mexico? Well, you find American guns. Look at all these ID numbers of American guns. Yeah, the problem is, is that those guns that they have in Mexico, that are in Mexico, that move around Mexico and the criminals use, they don't have the serial numbers we do here. They don't keep track. They don't keep the records we do here. So somebody commits a, a gun crime with a gun, that's from here. We have the serial number on the database. We, it's on file. You know where that gun came from. You know who owned it, at least as legally as you can. Over there, no, no such thing. I'm sorry to tell you. It's whatever it is. Those things are untracked. So that's why when they tell you these stats about how in a, you find more Americans' guns at Mexican crime scenes, well, yeah, you can't count the other 90,000 guns you find, so you find a a few hundred American guns, which most of them came from uh, Eric Holder and the Obama administration over there. Of course, you know. What else? We have Obama let uh, Huma Abedin and Hillary Clinton take out documents, illegally take out documents that were documents of the American people when Hillary Clinton left office. Now, why was she taking those documents? Do you think she cares about the American people and what we're entitled to? I don't think so. I think there's something up with them. There's another investigation we need. We can investigate ourselves to death. My name's Ben Shannerman, host of The Reality Check. We're here live on Independent Talk 1100 KFNX.
There are lots of good reasons to take a good quality multivitamin. Even the best eating plans can fall short of meeting all of the necessary nutrients you need each day. Emerald Laboratories offers different multivitamin formulas with specialty men's, women's, and prenatal formulas to meet individual needs. Each formula contains coenzyme activated forms of B2, B6, and folic acid, Albion Minerals, the gold standard in mineral chelates, vitamin K as MK7, and full spectrum mixed to cofferols, tocotrienols, and carotenoids. Folic acid is one of the standout nutrients in these formulas. 46% of the U.S. population does not process folic acid properly, putting them at greater risk for premature heart attack and stroke, depression, and even schizophrenia. Taking a once-daily multivitamin is an easy way to fill in small nutritional gaps. Learn more about Emerald Laboratories' science-based multivitamin formulas by going to ultralaboratories.com. That's ultralaboratories.com. Light up the darkest night of the year, the winter solstice at South Mountain Aglow, presented by South Mountain Chamber of Commerce. Join us at the South Mountain Environmental Education Center from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. on Friday, December 22nd for a beautiful half-mile Luminaria walk featuring artwork from local youth, businesses, and artists. The festival also includes musical delights, gifts galore, and tasty treats. Best of all, South Mountain the Glow is free for all ages. Discover more at smeec.org. Again, that's smeec.org. To me, Trump is like our first citizen president. He talks like, like Jimmy down the street. This is the Joe Walsh Show. Joe Walsh, nights at 7 p.m. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Hi, Rick and Dave here. The Elton Brothers on KFNX. Have you ever pulled in front of a listing, can't get a hold of anyone, and just wanted more info and photos? That's so annoying. Well, we have an app for you. Simply text ELTON to 32323. It's completely free and downloads right to your mobile device. So any real estate sign across the valley, text ELTON to 32323 and get all the MLS info right to your phone. Immediately. The Elton Brothers, putting real estate in the palm of your hand. Tune in Thursdays at 11 a.m. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Marshall, PhD, host of Healthline. Tune in to get your questions answered. Thank you, Dr. Marshall. Promote exquisite immune and cardiovascular support with Quantum Nutrition Lab's Quantum Garlic Complex, featuring bear garlic and allicin. Buy two bottles and get the third one free. Call 800-370-3447 or visit online at qnlabs.com. Hello, this is Johnny Curtis, House of Curtis Music, Ridden Spirits of Native Life. We got love, we got faith, and we got good Native American gospel music. Tune in every Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. right here on 1100 KFNX. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer space. Please stand by. Welcome back to Reality Check. Your host, Ben Shannerman, here with you on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. So both, mostly our first segment was about, of course, Robert Mueller and the investigation. He'll be finding something no matter how long he goes on, or so he thinks. But there's really no credibility to his investigation anymore. Obviously, it was a sham, started by a sham, premise a sham. You know the whole deal. Turns out a Tampa Bay lawyer had sexual relations with female inmates inside a Pinellas County jail several times in a private room that was supposed to be used for attorney client. And he also solicited sex from other incarcerated women. According to deputies, he offered to put money in their commissionary accounts, saying he was filming the acts in videos titled Girls in Jail. Another sleazeball lawyer. There of a been posters popping up around the Los Angeles area with Merrill Street and Harvey Weinstein. Now, good old Harvey's giving her a hug. And the posters um, actually over Merrill's eyes in bold text say she knew. And uh, I'm sure she did, as many of these uh, loon ball liberals did. As you've seen, I don't know if you've seen, maybe you do know, uh, some of Hillary Clinton's uh, recovered emails shows that she knew about Harvey and she helped protect him. You ever notice how uh, Gloria Alred has never 
represented any of the women who um, accused Bill Clinton, uh, the underage attacker Epstein or Weinstein, Matlar, Charlie Rose, Al Franken, John Conyers. Never once has she been. It's amazing how the only clients that come to her office are supposedly attacked by a certain group of people. I mean, you would think it's like, I don't know. 